こんにちは。We are Iris Project, an interdisciplinary team of 40 members from across Japan, mainly from Tokyo University and Keio University. Our structure is defined by four specialized divisions. The Rover team, based at Tokyo University, pioneers the design, hardware integration, and autonomous control of the Rover platform. The robotic arm team, composed of students in Tokyo, Engineers and manipulator systems responsible for sample acquisition and mission operation. The science team operates in two subunits a theoretical unit that defines analytical models and scientific directions, and a development unit that constructs the onboard science payload. And the PR team, which manages partnership, strategic outreach, and operational logistics. As Japan's first rover team, we've shown how far student initiatives can go. We have competed in URC, yet despite our efforts, we were unable to qualify for the ERC 2023 and 2024. Our challenge has sparked momentum in Japan's student space community. For winning the Japan's first rover competition, TRC, to leading outreach efforts such as JAXA field experiments and environmental beach cleanup events. This challenge goes beyond competition, it marks a step forward. In our effort to contribute to future Japan space development, we aspire to contribute meaningfully, represent our country, and explore what lies beyond. We use aluminium sheet metal for the rover's body to make it lightweight, strong, easy to maintain, and stylish in design. A four wheel drive system and independent steering enable the rover various movements such as driving forwards and backwards, turning right and left. And rotating in place. Its rocker mechanism helps maintain a level posture regardless of terrain, allowing for stable traversal across uneven ground. The rover's debut tires, designed using principles of tail mechanics, provide strong grip on the surface, enabling it to effectively overcome obstacles, steps, trenches, and slopes. Finally, all components underwent rigorous structure analysis using CAE to validate their mechanical integrity. Our rover's control system is divided into four separate units and they communicate with each other using CAM. We designed and developed custom control boards using o d i s k Fusion, integrating Audino DU and SM32 microcontrollers. By distributing computational tasks across these four units, the system can handle complex control operations efficiently. For reliable long distance communication, the rover is equipped with XP modules. The power unit consists of four easy replaceable lithium ion batteries. Additionally, an emergency stop mechanism is implemented to immediately halt the system when necessary, enhancing operational safety. Autonomous navigation is managed by an onboard main computer running Rust to Iron. This system integrates multiple sensors, including IMU, GPS, wheelometry, LiDAR, and real sense, to perform navigation using the Nav2 package, enabling real time environmental perception and path planning. We also use Gazebo to simulate the rover and validate both the control programs and sensors. Our contacts and object detection using YOLO and Opus CV are employed for accurate target recognition and identification. Our drone is a hexacopter equipped with 13 inch propellers and features a foldable custom carbon fiber frame designed with portability in mind. It uses r d p i l o t for flight control, enabling autonomous takeoff and landing. The drone can move freely in all directions and achieve stable hovering using l i t e r mode. Telemetry data can be monitored through the Mission Planner application, and in case such as Rolex loss, the drone can autonomously return to the home point using the return to launch function. It also allows for immediate switching to manual flight when necessary. For safety, a r d p i l o t s geofence feature is enabled. Our robotic arm has five degrees of freedom and a base that can move sideways. It is powered by seven Vlashes DC motors providing hydro. We use carbon fiber tubing for the arm, making it lightweight and strong. We mainly use 3D printer parts for the end effector portion to reduce the rod on each end. The wrist and arm are hollow, allowing cables to run internally, 
which helps prevent disconnection and damage. A custom-made cycle reducer in the first shine enables the machine to perform the detailed work with delicate movement, and the arm can lift object weighing up to 8 kg from the ground. The gripper features a telescopic mechanism driven by a servo motor and laser pointer, allowing for stable remote maintenance operations. In addition, the gripper finger is easily removable, optimizing the finger for the different mission requirements. Our robotic arm is controlled by stm 32 3 microcontrollers, and all wiring is organized using LAN cables. Each motor is driven through CAN communication, and PID control enables delicate and precise movements. Inverse kinematics calculations are performed using the Regenberg Markout algorithm, which solves nonlinear least squares problems based on motor RPM values and encoder data. The sensor configuration includes one rear sense RGBD camera, three digital cameras, and two analog cameras for a wide field of view. Camera video data is used for recognition of objects such as switches and plugs. The spatial coordinates of objects are precisely identified, and based on these coordinates, the necessary calculations for autonomous arm operation are performed. These data are fed back to the base station in real time for monitoring. The science team has been conducting a literature review on the topography and exploration of Mars with a particular focus on virus marinades. We also utilize GMRs to deepen our understanding of the region's geological processes and features. To analyze detailed geology of the planet's surface, we will use a much spectral camera capable of identifying various minerals based on their spectral signatures. This mineralogical identification will help verify our hypothesis in the science planning report. We have developed a science component that performs high precision and efficient sampling, storage, and measurement of both underground materials and rocks. This is a drilling unit designed to excavate up to about 49 centimeters below the surface. It is powered by three motors, a DC motor for vertical movement of the drill, another DC motor to rotate the drill bit, and a server motor that operates the iOS mechanism after sample collection. Vertical motion is achieved using a ball screw. With its rotation measured by an encoder to accurately track the drilling depth. Limit switches are placed at the top and bottom of the drill's range of motion. These switches help control the transition between the drilling, retrieval, and sealing phases. The frame is made of metal, providing the rigidity necessary for reliable drilling. After a sample is collected, it is sealed securely using an IOS mechanism, allowing safe transport. The unit is designed for easy disassembly, making maintenance straightforward. Samples can be easily accessed and removed using basic tools. This gripper is a 1-degree overflow-down multi-finger gripper, driven by a ball screw. The gripper uses one motor to actuate all fingers, which move in coordination by one ball screw that converts rotary to liner motion. This provides one degree of actuation, making the system simple to control while allowing high adaptability to object shapes. It can grasp rocks larger than 15 cm, which are stored in one of two containers. Each container is equipped with a load cell, enabling weight measurements with 0.25 gram precision. Additionally, the gripper has two side-mounted shovels that can collect over 100 gram of regolith in total. The regolith is stored in separate container, also equipped with a high-precision load cell of the same specifications. Wow.